Okay, so this is just a quick um, review of the bed jet. So what the bed jet is, it's pretty much a uh, climate control system for your bed. Um, it's really cool. Yes, you have seen this on Shark Tank. That's exactly where I got this idea from. Uh, my pretty much, the pretty much the premise behind me getting it um, is because I wanted something that I can control without having to turn the AC on. Um, something that also during the winter time could be something that I could use uh, just to kind of combat the cold air. So, um, reason I'm showing you the bed is because I'm sure nobody's probably seen where it is right now. But that's where it is right here. So pretty much what it is, I'll give you a good look down here. That's the actual unit itself. So the unit just sits under the bed. Um, there's, you know, there's fans and heating elements inside it. And it just plugs into the uh, a regular um, outlet or strip. You can see it. It's the, the third plug, the one on the left over on that strip. And... Uh, yeah, so this hose just comes out, and it connects to this piece that I'll show you. It's this piece right here, and um, you know, just pull it out. And you put it under the mattress, or I guess if you have a box spring, you could put it under there too. And what it does is it holds the um, it holds the tube. Get you a little bit closer there. Okay, so it holds the tube to the bed. Now, I mean, if you're like you know like a, I guess somebody that moves around a lot when you're sleeping or anything I mean I kind of that way and I never have any issues with this moving the only thing I would say is with this being the way it is you kinda have to be careful because I sat on it like once or twice getting ready to go to work put my shoes on so you gotta be careful of that so it goes on, on over like that and then the uh, pretty much you just have the uh, comforter over it or they actually sell um, a sheet as well that you can that that'll blow straight into the sheet and then you you know you have either this the sheet on top of you or you could you could lay on the sheet um, all right so now I'm gonna just get the uh, controls ready and I'll show you guys how they have an app and they also have a remote so I'll show you that right now okay so this is the remote that comes with the unit um, I actually don't use the remote. I, I actually prefer the um, the app. It's a little bit more intuitive. You can definitely do a lot more things with it. But you know, it's pretty straightforward. Um, they have a uh, a turbo heat button that makes it that gets the uh, the temperature up uh, hot really quickly, and then just a regular heat and cool. This controls um, the bringing the temperature down and up, obviously. And then this is just to turn the um, the beeping noises off and then you could also set um, a timer for the uh, for the unit also I guess I'll just show you the top of it um, there are a few like lights and whatnot kind of give you an idea of what's on I mean the blue light right now is the um, the Bluetooth it's kind of hard to see there but then that's that's just the uh, power light and then it just lets you what know what mode it's on when it's on okay so the app is really straightforward um, okay. so you can see that you got um, timer settings it lets you know what the current air temperature is on the unit which is 69 degrees um, that's also what it's going to tell you um, as the uh, either cool or warm air is blowing through it it gives you a, a reading out of what that is um, and then it looks just like the remote um, but it, again like I said there are different things you could set an alarm um, what that does is like let's say you want it to come on at seven o'clock in the morning while you're still sleeping it could do that um, and you could set the heat to a certain amount so there's different they have different things they call it. so desert breeze is usually the most the um, like the low like the medium gentle warms like 80 like um, actually gentle warms 100 okay I didn't know that oh that's what it was so night sweats like the lowest then desert breeze and then gentle warmth I'd usually have it around this um, or maybe a little bit higher um, and yeah and then there's other memory settings that you do have for it too so again if you want to have it at a certain amount a certain um, temperature at a certain part of the day that can come on and whatnot and uh, you have a lot of different options with it so um, alright so let's get this thing going alright so we'll just start with the heat setting so when I turn it on you're actually gonna see that the 
air inside under the um, comforter is actually going to go like it's going to push the comfort up. It's going to look like it's floating. So let's get that going. Okay, and I'll give you kind of an idea of what it sounds like too. It's very quiet. Alright, so it's pretty much like floating right now. And again, the air is coming out right over there. And usually I put this on like two minutes before I go to bed. And uh, it gets it pretty, pretty warm. Um, I like to usually put the pillow out too, so that way no air escapes. It just becomes a uh, nice heated area. Like look, you can see. There's a, there's a good amount of air in there right now. Um, okay, so let's get, give you an idea of what the current temperature is with it. So right now it's showing that it's 97 degrees. I'll just let you show, show you how it goes up. And right now it's on a twenty. It's a it's on a twenty minute timer. You could change um, you could change how long you want the timer on for. They'll do it. I think they'll do it up until two hours. Yeah, and you could set that. Usually it, it gets pretty warm after twenty minutes. It's it's pretty. It's kind of almost too warm. Um, okay, so it's pretty much at temperature. I'll just get you kind of an idea of what it sounds like down here. Now again, I don't know, you know, anytime you take a video and there's air blowing, it could possibly, you know, mess the sound up a little bit, but I'll tell you straight out that it is not loud at all. It does, has not affected my sleep whatsoever. See, and that's when, when it's on, you know, it makes this, it lights up that sun and it just tells you how high the, um, how high the fan setting is. If you guys have any questions on it, Feel free to like comment and I'll try to get back to you, but it's a, it's a great unit. I got mine. I'll tell you kind of how, how to get a better deal on it. Um, Amazon.com and search for the bed jet and then try to just get a used one from Amazon Warehouse. That's where I got mine. I got it for like $250, which is pretty unheard of because it's usually like three four $400. Even I think it could actually go into $500, but... Um, but yeah, just try to see if you can get it used. I mean, these this thing has been working completely fine. The only thing that was wrong with it um, was it the box was a little messed up, but the unit itself is completely fine. So, um, but yeah, no, I love it. It's been working great. And uh, again, there's even things that I know that I'm probably not really explaining too well because it's only a full size bed. But there's like dual control settings for. Um, you know, if you have like two people and it's a bigger bed, you can control two sides of it and whatnot. So there's a lot, there's a lot that can be done with the bed jet. But like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a comment or whatnot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.